Hi, I'm Jackie Stokes, Marketing Programs Manager for Siemens Industry USA, welcoming you to another Siemens How to Drive video with the goal of helping you better understand and work with Siemens variable frequency drives and related motion control products. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate your Siemens Synamics drive with an Allen Bradley Logix PLC over an Ethernet IP network. Talking with an Allen Bradley PLC on Ethernet IP is a straightforward process. We at Siemens have developed electronic data sheets for our drives, add-on instructions, and PanelView Plus HMI faceplates for your applications. These are all available on our Siemens online support website. Links to these are included in the description below this video. Ready to get started? First, we'll need to go to the Siemens online support website, or CEOs. Here, we can view the application example that describes how to control a Synamics drive with a Logix PLC and HMI on Ethernet IP. We have resources for our general purpose drives, servo drives, and DC drives. At the bottom of this page, you'll be able to download all the tools you need. Once you have the files, you'll need to perform a quick startup of the Synamics drive. This is easily done using the commissioning wizard in the operator panel or with Siemens' free start drive software. During the startup, you'll need to make sure you set a few key parameters. Parameter 2030 allows you to set the drive for Ethernet, IP, or Profinet within the drive and without requiring any extra hardware. You'll also need to select the telegram you wish to use. Telegrams are universal blocks of data that organize parameters and functions into a consistent format that are used to pass data between PLC and drive. Organized into 16-bit process words that contain relevant information, most telegrams have a control word, status word, speed set point, and speed feedback word in common. There are many different telegrams available, and there's even a freeform telegram that you can completely customize. The Siemens online support page for this application, linked in the description below this video, lists all of the add-on instructions for the different telegrams. For this demonstration, I will be using one of our most popular general purpose drives, the Synamics G120. And I will use Telegram 352, which is six words in length, with drive control and status, speed set point and actual speed, actual current, actual torque, alarm code, and fault code. Once you are finished commissioning the drive, you can add it to your Studio 5000 project. So, let's open Studio 5000. We'll create a new project and select the controller that we're using, a Compact Logix. And click Finish. You can see that the Compact Logix PLC has been added to the project tree. Now we'll register the Synamics electronic data sheet. The Synamics EDS file is not firmware dependent, meaning that you do not need to manage firmware revisions when adding or replacing a drive. There is one EDS file that can be used for any Synamics drive. To do this, we'll go to Tools, EDS Hardware Installation Tool, also known as Device Description Installation Tool. We'll register an EDS file. Click Register a Directory and Browse. Locate the folder containing the EDS files. Then click Next and click through the dialog boxes until you reach Finish. Now we'll add the Synamics G120 drive to the project. The EDS file you just registered allows us to easily add a Synamics drive to the project tree. Under I.O. Configuration, you'll click on Ethernet, New Module, Enter Synamics, and select Synamics Drive. and click Create. You can name this drive whatever you want. We'll call it G120 and we'll give it an IP address. 
This needs to match what we assigned to the drive, 192.168.0.3. Next, we'll change the module definition. We will disable keying. We will change the data type to an int and change the input size to 6 and the output size to 6. These selections correspond with the telegram we are using. Click OK. Click Yes to change the module definition and OK to finalize creation of the G120. The Synamics G120 drive has now been added to the project tree. Next, we can import our add-on instruction into the program. So, we'll go to Main Program, right-click, Add, Import Routine. We'll browse to our Synamics EIP folder, G Drives, and import sample code that contains the add-on instruction for Telegram 352. If you have an existing PLC program, you can just import the AOI corresponding to the telegram you wish to use. In this case, I'm importing sample code that includes the AOI for Telegram 352, along with a few rungs of code so that I can quickly start and stop the drive. So now we have to configure the routine we just imported. We'll start with changing the name. Let's just call it G120 Routine. And then we'll go to Tags and make some edits to the final names. The first edit is the name of the AOI. Let's just call it AOI G120. Next, we map the drive input data. So here we select G120 input and then G120 output for the output data. We must enter the value of parameter 2000 for reference speed. In this case, I used 1500 RPM when I commissioned the drive. Next, I'll enter the value of parameter 2002, reference current, and enter 1.5 amps. And then the reference torque of 2.55 newton meters. If you need to verify these values, you can use the drive's operator panel and see the values in these parameters. And then we can rename the UDT. We'll call it UDT G120. Next, we'll go to Other Components. Here, we will browse to our drive and select it. And once we're done selecting that, we can click OK. Now you can see that G120 Routine is located under the main program just below Main Routine. Now we'll need to call this routine from the main routine. If we go into the main routine, we can create a JSR for Jump Subroutine, and we will select G120 Routine. And now our main routine is calling our G120 routine, and we can control the drive. Now we'll establish communications and download the project. We'll go to Communications, Who Active, and find the processor that we will download to. and then download to the processor. We will go into the G120 routine and you can see our AOI for Telegram 352. And if you wanted, you could go into this add-on instruction and look at the instruction logic.
The add-on instructions we provide are not locked, so you are able to edit these or take a closer look to see what's going on. We can also view the parameter tags. You can see the drive control tags and the drive status tags with descriptions. I'm going to go back to the G120 routine. The values displayed in the AOI block show the actual speed, current, and torque as zero, which makes sense because the motor isn't turning. To get this motor moving, we'll set our speed set point to 250 RPM and send a run command. Now you can see that the motor is turning and being controlled by the Compact Logics PLC. You can also see that the AOI block is displaying the actual speed as 250 RPM. To summarize, this Siemens How to Drive video showed us how to control a Synamics G120 drive on Ethernet IP with a Compact Logix controller using a Siemens Drive EDS file and an add-on instruction for Telegram 352. On the Siemens online support website, you can find additional resources. The EDS file can be used for any Synamics drive that supports Ethernet IP. The EDS file allows you to disable keying in the drive. Add-on instructions are available for Synamics General Purpose G drives, servo and high-performance S drives, and DC drives with Ethernet IP. We also have PanelView Plus HMI faceplates that connect to the AOIs for easy HMI development. If you would like to learn more, a good place to start is usa.siemens.com slash drives dash EIP. And of course, you can contact your local Siemens distributor or account manager. Thanks for watching, and please drive carefully.